In recent times, Nigeria has continued to face increased insecurity ranging from headsmen and farmer clashes, kidnappings, gunmen and Boko Haram attacks, coupled with threats to the nation's unity, the Biafra agitations and the quick notice issued by some northern youths to the Igbos in their region, which heightened the tensions. Against this backdrop, President Muhammad Buhari, on his return from his medical vacation abroad, ordered security chiefs to end all threats to national security and protect Nigeria's unity, a development which many have described as dictatorial and undemocratic. But a security analyst, Chike Onoha, has a divergent opinion. Democracy is not a license for recklessness. Democracy is not a license for rascality. Democracy is not a license for intimidation. Mm -hmm. You understand? Democracy is a process. Don't forget, there's liberty, there's freedom, of course, there's human right, okay? So, where your right stops, that is where another person is. The security expert is also of the view that government's failure to deliver the dividends of democracy to the people is responsible for the increased rate of insecurity in Nigeria. If we had done the right things by having a transparent govern a governance, you know, a corrupt less not free because you can't have a corrupt free society a corrupt less country where most of the resources that were supposed to be used for developing and development of this country was done between 1999 and today we don't have had this much agitation as we have for example meanwhile concerns have been raised on the need for the president to have a dialogue with the various agitating groups in the country these they say will ensure unity and peaceful coexistence in nigeria nekaliuk liberty news